Eye bolts are commonly the first rigging fitting used in an assembly to lift or suspend a load, whether it be attaching them to wood post, steel tubing, or directly into threaded holes, we'll show you how to select and install the right one for your application. There are four main styles of eye bolts available in a variety of sizes and finishes. Regular, shoulder, lag, and machinery. The size designation for eye bolts are common across all types. For example, this is a half by six inch shoulder eye bolt. And here is a half by six inch stainless steel lag eye bolt. The half inch measurement references the diameter of the shank. And the six inch measurement refers to the length of the shank. The larger the diameter of the shank, the larger the working load. And the longer shank length will allow you to go through thicker objects. The threaded portion varies for each eye bolt, so visit our website if you need more detailed dimensions of our eye bolts. Another indicator for how strong or durable an eye bolt will be is the way the eye is manufactured. While most of our eye bolts come standard with a drop forged eye, we do offer more economical variants that use form dies. However, for critical applications, drop forged or cast dies are what is recommended. We offer eye bolts in stainless steel, hot dipped galvanized steel, and self colored finishes. Stainless steel is the most corrosion resistant and has the best looking finish. Hot dip galvanizing provides good corrosion resistance but with added strength. Self colored eye bolts are uncoated and designed to be painted by the end user. Please see our coatings video on our website and link in the description below for more information on coatings and material types. Regular and shoulder eye bolts can be used to lift or support an overhead load and each has a working load limit. These fittings are very versatile and designed to be inserted through a hole and secured on the backside with the provided nut. Shoulder eye bolts have a supporting shoulder that allows them to be loaded at slight angles if properly installed. Regular eye bolts don't have a shoulder and are designed for straight line loading only and can bend and break if loaded at angles. Machinery eye bolts have short, fully threaded shanks that are designed to be screwed directly into threaded or tapped holes. These fittings have a shoulder allowing for lifting at slight angles and a listed working load limit. Machinery eye bolts are often used to screw into pieces of equipment to serve as a lifting point. Lag eye bolts have threads designed to screw into wood. They don't have a working load limit because their strength is dependent upon the species and condition of the wood it is screwed into. For example, a lag eye bolt will hold more load when screwed into a new oak board compared to an old pine fence post. It is important to note that eye bolts are designed to be loaded with the axis at the center of the eye. They should never be loaded perpendicular to that axis because they are likely to bend and possibly break. Oftentimes, loads are applied to eye bolts at an angle, and for these types of applications, Shoulder eye bolts should only be used. Angles are important because they can alter the working load limit of the eye bolt. As you can see here, the cable is at zero degrees. At zero to five degrees, the eye bolt is rated at 100% of its working load limit. In this case, the catalog working load limit of this 3 8 inch machinery eye bolt is 1,550 pounds. However, if we move to 15 degrees, the working load limit is reduced by 20%, making the effective working load limit of the eye bolt 1,240 pounds, which is 80% of the original rated capacity. Moving it to 30 degrees makes for a 65% capacity, 
45 degrees equals 30 percent and 90 degrees equals 25 percent. At 90 degrees, the 75 percent reduction in capacity makes the effective working load limit only 388 pounds. So as you can see, the degree of angle can have a big effect on the working load limit of the eye bolt. Our website has a table which indicates the angles and effects they have on working load limits. Because of the effect that angles have on eye bolts and working load limits, we recommend using swivel hoist rings as an alternative choice. The advantages of using swivel hoist rings over eye bolts is that they maintain 100% of the working load limit at any angle from 0 to 90 degrees. And you can find these types of fittings on our website. To properly install regular type and shoulder type eye bolts, first determine the thickness of what the eye bolt will be attaching to. Then, choose an eye bolt with a shank that is long enough so that its threads will protrude from the backside and allow the nut to be tightened properly. If the unthreaded portion of the shank protrudes below the bottom surface and does not allow the nut to be tightened, you can use washers to fill the space of the unthreaded portion of the shank. Machinery eye bolts are primarily intended to be installed into tapped holes. The eye bolts are threaded to UNC standard and as such, the hole needs to be tapped accordingly to ensure the shoulder will be firmly seated against the object to be lifted. When drilling and tapping the hole for the eye bolt, the hole depth should be the length of the shank plus one half the diameter of the shank. As mentioned earlier, eye bolts are to be used so that loads are applied about the axis of the eye. When installing machinery eye bolts, it may be necessary to add washers to shim the eye bolt to achieve the correct alignment. Today we'll illustrate this by attaching four machinery eye bolts to each corner of this lifting box, and we'll attach a four-leg bridle assembly to each of the eye bolts. Note that all the eye bolts are not in line. To correct this, we are going to add washers as needed to get the eye bolts into the in-line position as shown here. Now that we've covered the types of eye bolts available and installation basics, here are some general safety precautions that you should be aware of. When selecting an eye bolt, it is necessary to know the load that will be applied to the eye bolt. If you are uncertain of the load, it is recommended to choose a larger sized eye bolt to be on the safe side. Always take into consideration the working load limit of the object to which you are fastening the eye bolt to, as this will affect the working load limit of your entire rigging assembly. Always inspect eye bolts before use, and never use an eye bolt that shows signs of wear or damage. Always be sure the threads on the shank and receiving holes are clean, and never machine grind or cut an eye bolt. Never rig a sling or cable from one eye bolt to the other, as shown here. We hope this video has helped you with the selection and installation of eye bolts for your rigging assembly. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us on our website. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information on various rigging topics. I'm Tyler with eRigging. Thanks for watching.